Hi you all, or should I say ciao from Florence, Italy. I am currently studying abroad here. My name is Sarah Satterfield and I am a current junior at Berry College and I'm studying marketing. I'm currently on my way to school on my 15 minute walk. It's such a nice walk, it's very peaceful. But yeah, that's how I always start my school days is with my 15 minute school walk. Yeah, we're going to school. It is Tuesday and I have a busy, busy day, so make sure to keep up. Hi guys, so this is my friend Rachel that I met over here. We've become great friends and we always have a coffee together every single morning. So what's your order? Cappuccino takeaway. That's the same with mine. Either that or a cafe latte. We love coffee over here. It's a part of our everyday lives, but we make it a routine for sure. She is very dressed up today, as you can tell. So I am drinking coffee right now between my second and my third class, which is such an amazing thing to do in Florence because of the views. Obviously, look how beautiful it is. If you turn around the camera, it's the other, it's the Point of Vecchio. Um, just Florence is a great way to meet people by just sitting out on the bridges and seeing real life Italians. It's <laughs> honestly great being a student abroad. I love Florence. Are there any good gyms in Florence? This question is commonly asked by people that are from home. Yes, there are some really good gyms in Florence, which my friend and I, Devin, have joined a gym. It's called Florence Fitness. We go probably three times a week. It's been really enjoyable because it's part of our routine here. What are the apartments like? So our apartment is extremely nice. We got extremely lucky. So this is our porch even, has a great view of the garden. Um, here is our living room area. It's a very nice apartment and we got extremely lucky as I said before with this. Um, so we both have single rooms, which has been very nice for the whole process of abroad and spending time alone is nice. Here is my room and we have a maid actually. So everything is always kept very clean and neat. So yeah. I love this question too of why did I choose to come to Florence for study abroad? This is crazy, but I never even came to Florence before I actually got off the plane in January to spend three whole months here in a city that I've never even been to before. I've been to Italy before. I love the culture of the food and the people and the coffee but I merely based my choice on what my friends in the past have said about their experience in Florence of the food being great, the city being very charming and extremely walkable. And I believe that all of those things that I've been told have been met and the expectations have been definitely met. And Florence is a great city, especially if you don't know where exactly that you wanna come abroad to. I think it's a very good, home base for everyone. It's very Americanized, I will say that. So that has made the adjustment so much easier, just like coming here because you are around lots of other. Does AIFS have staff who can help you while you're actually here? Yes, they do. They have amazing staff that have helped me with my problems. If it's with the meal plan, if it's with the actual school, if it's with housing, I think they've done a great job at, at what they do and they're very kind and friendly, yet they're very professional, which is needed in this environment because a lot can go wrong for abroad students. I think they do a great job at dealing with the problems that lots of the students face here. This is another great question, so I've not been posting here. I've been actually at the dinner that was sponsored by AIFS that I will post about. It was so amazing. How do I deal with homesickness? So I never thought I would get homesick until I came abroad. Um, 
but I definitely have been feeling that the past two months ever since I've been here. The first month was really good and then it really just starts to set in. So you have to really put yourself into to your activities that you enjoy, into your hobbies. Such for me, it was going to the gym. It was seeing friends on the daily. It was going on walks. It was doing stuff to fill my time, you know, when I, when I wasn't at school, when I wasn't going out to eat with my friends. Um, it's really about just finding a schedule and sort of staying with that same schedule and it's just if you have too much time on your hands then you're gonna think about what's at home and you're gonna look at everyone's stuff from home i really think filling your time up is so important okay what's something you would do on a daily basis that would shock americans for one i don't drive anywhere which my old self would be in shock i'm not driven it in three months so that's a shock i eat dinner every night between the hours of 9 to 10 30 and sometimes it goes on and on which i would never do in america and most people eat at like 7 30. how is the cost of living obviously we have spent a lot of money abroad if you come abroad you're gonna spend a lot of money even when you're not trying to because trips are expensive traveling is expensive but i will say italy i know is cheaper than a lot of other countries so i get a coffee in the morning for a euro 20 cents so a euro and 20 cents um i would say that is definitely cheaper than back in the states and the average meal probably is like 11 dollars here for a sandwich for a pasta um a big salad something like that but it's definitely less than other places but it's definitely less expensive than back home in the states so as long as you budget well on the trips then you should be fine but the trips is where you're gonna spend a lot of your money in florence it's not very expensive you can get a drink for six euro you can get a coffee again for a dollar 20 cents a euro 20 cents but yeah